the point P would have taken in the plane, it will be lies with the condition of whenever the AP vector is perpendicular to the nth vector. Vector is xi plus yj plus zk. Similarly, A vector. A vector is nothing but with the position vectors of the point x1, y1, z1. You have to do with i dot i, j dot j, k dot k. Right? Hello dear students, a warm welcome to one and all. My name is Vibha, Mathematics Faculty at Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In the last session, we have derived equation of a plane in a normal form, right? In today's session, dear students, here we are having session number 8 and chapter number 11 called 3D Geometry of your second PUC Mathematics. And in today's session, dear students, we are going to learn one more derivation of a plane which is very very important for your examination which will be asked for phi marker and here we'll go like this now equation of a plane perpendicular to a given see perpendicular to a given vector and passing through a given point here a given point i have taken it as p okay so which is perpendicular to a given vector which is nothing but the normal there now here OA be the position vector which is the A vector and the P be any point on the plane such that OP vector that a position of P will be which will be equals to R vector. The same explanation I have taken here. The diagram is very very important dear students. Now here let a plane pass through a point A with the position vector A vector and perpendicular to the vector perpendicular to the vector which is n vector now here the next explanation of the diagram takes place like this let r vector be position vector of any point on the plane that point i have taken it as p of x comma y comma z then the point p lies in the plane if and only if AP vector is perpendicular to N vector. So therefore, it is clear that the point P would have taken in the plane, it will be lies with the condition of whenever the AP vector is perpendicular to the N vector. Understood? Now, perpendicular means dot product of that two will be is equals to what? It will be equals to zero. Correct. So therefore, AP vector dot N vector will be is equals to 0. So what is AP? AP can be written as OP vector minus OA vector. Now we know already OP vector is nothing but R vector. Isn't it? Position vector is nothing but R vector and then OA vector is nothing but A vector. Right? Now substituting this in this condition therefore you can have therefore ap vector dot n vector equals to 0 ap vector is nothing but r vector minus a vector dot n vector will be is equals to 0 and this is going to be known as the vector form okay and this is very important ds now Based on this, let me move on to for a Cartesian form. For the Cartesian form, dear students, I have to take let, what is that? OP vector is nothing but let R vector be the position vector of point P of X, Y, Z, isn't it? And then here we can go like r vector is nothing but xi plus yj plus zk. Here oa vector which is nothing but you can take the point of x1, y1, z1. So therefore a vector can be having a point of x1 plus y1 plus z1. Okay. Similarly, let a b c b the direction ratios 
direction ratios of n vector which is nothing but so n vector can be written as a i plus b j plus c k. So substituting in the vector form you are going to get it as you know the vector form is r vector minus a vector dot n cap will be is equals to 0. Here our vector is x i plus y j plus z k. Similarly a vector, a vector is nothing but with the position vectors of the point x1, y1, z1. You can have along with the minus and everything will become minus x1 i minus y1 j minus z1 k dot you are going to get dot n vector is nothing but a i plus b j plus c k right will be is equals to 0. Now you can have here by taking i common factor x minus x1 correct x minus x1 into i plus y minus y1 into j plus z minus z1 into k along with the dot product of a i plus b j plus c k is equals to 0. Now you can have the dot product dot product of i dot i j dot j k dot k gives you the value as 1 where i dot j i dot k similarly j dot i j dot k k dot i k dot j gives you the value 0. So by taking i dot i i dot i gives you 1 so which implies that x minus x1 into a plus y minus y1 see j dot j gives you 1 y minus y1 into b plus similarly z minus z1 into c so z minus z1 into c is equals to 0 this is going to be known as the Cartesian form okay so this is going to be known as what a Cartesian form so this is very easier dear students if you know the diagram properly then you can give the explanation and then doing a proof right now we'll be moving on to solving problems based on this formula now what they have asked the first problem find the vector and the Cartesian equations of the plane which passes through the point 5 2 minus 4 and perpendicular to the line with the direction ratios 2 3 and then minus 1 now here they have given a point what they have given given point given point which is x1 y1 and the z1 is equals to uh, 5 2 and then minus 4 right so and then direction ratios direction ratios uh, a b and then c they have given it as 2 3 and minus 1. They've asked you to uh, what is that write in the find in the form of the vector and find in the form of the Cartesian. Now here what is the vector equation is given by? We know the vector form the vector form is nothing but r vector minus a vector dot n vector is equals to 0. Now, by taking here our vector as it is minus a vector as x1, y1, z1. So, which can be written as 5i minus into plus is minus 2j. Are you getting dear students? 5i minus 2j because your minus symbol is there. Minus into plus is nothing but minus. Now, again minus into minus is nothing but plus plus 4k dot n vector n vector is nothing but what 2i plus 3j minus k so 2i plus 3j minus k 
is equals to 0 and this is going to be this equation is going to be known as vector form. Now we will be moving on to doing in the Cartesian form either you can take by having the vector form if you remember the formula you can do accordingly. This problem I am going to continue with the vector form. Next problem I am going to use directly a formula of Cartesian form. Now here let me take it as see our vector can be written as what x i plus y j plus z k. Now here by writing that x i plus y j plus z k minus 5i minus 2j plus 4k into 2i 2i plus 3j minus k correct is equals to 0. Now you can do with this x minus 5i as a common now x minus 5 into i y minus 2 plus y minus 2 into j similarly z min plus 4 because you are having plus plus z plus 4 into k cap dot product of 2i plus 3j minus k will be equal to 0. Now what you need to do you have to do with i dot i j dot j k dot k right now by doing x minus 5 i dot i gives you 1 x minus 5 into 2 x minus 5 into 2 again y minus 2 into 3 plus y minus 2 into 3 again plus here you are having minus plus into minus is nothing but minus 1 see 1 because z plus 4 z plus 4 into minus 1. So minus 1 no need to write as it is you can write minus of that one. Now expanding this 2x 2 5s are 10 plus into minus is minus 3y plus into plus is plus plus into minus is minus 3 2s are 6 minus into plus is minus z minus into plus is minus 4 equals to 0. Again simplifying this 2x as it is I am writing plus 3y again minus z now minus 10 minus 6 is nothing but minus 16 minus 16 minus 4 is nothing but minus 20. Now minus 20 will be equals to 0 and this is going to be known as the Cartesian form of the given problem. Now let me write it here which is going to be known as a Cartesian form. I hope you understood this one how to direct from vector form to the Cartesian form. If you want you can do like this otherwise let me explain directly in the next problem. Now what they have asked the next problem? Fine the vector and the Cartesian equations of the plane which passes through the point 4, 2 and 3 and perpendicular to the line with the direction ratios 2, 2, 1. Now what they have given, given point, given point uh, x1, y1, z1, right, 4, 2 and then 3. Now they have given direction ratios, direction ratios, what is the direction ratios, a, b, c, which will be 2, b value 2, c value 1. Now you can go with the vector form. So vector form is given by which is r vector minus a vector dot n vector will be is equals to 0. Now a vector which is a point of x1, y1, z1 and n vector which is a direction ratio so of a, b, c. Now you can have our vector as it is I am writing minus you have to multiply this along with the minus symbol and then i j k which is a position vector you have to write it. Now 4i plus into minus is minus 
4i again plus into minus is minus minus 2j plus into minus is minus 3k with the dot product of n vector is nothing but 2i plus 2j plus k is equals to 0. This is going to be known as the vector equation, right? Now, we'll be moving on to the Cartesian form. So, the Cartesian form is given by the formula. In the last problem, I have continued from the or I have deducted from the vector form to the Cartesian form. Now here, directly I am writing the formula of the Cartesian form which I have derived. Based on that, I am going to substitute the values. Now what is the Cartesian form? A into x minus x1 or x minus x1 into A, both are same. Since it is a multiplication, B into y minus y1 plus C into z minus z1 is equals to 0. Now let me substitute the values of x1, y1, z1, a, b, c. Now let me take for a value, a is 2, so 2 into x minus x1 value is 4 plus b, b value again 2 into y minus y1 value is nothing but 2 plus c, c value is nothing but 1, 1 into z minus z1 value is 3 z minus 3 is equals to 0. Now you have to evaluate this. Next step will go with the multiplication. 2 into x is 2x plus into minus is minus 2 fours are 8 plus 2 into y again plus into minus is minus 2 twos are 4 plus 1 into z is z plus into minus is minus 1 into 3 is 3 equal to 0. Now you can add all the constants. You can write 2x plus 2y plus z minus 8 minus 4 which is minus 12 minus 12 minus 3 which is minus 15 now minus 15 equals to 0 this is going to be known as the Cartesian form so how easy dear students if you remember formula that's it dears the derivation is very important if you know the formula you can do a problems Okay, dear students, in the next session, we'll be moving on to another derivation based on that problem. Until then, keep watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.